hyphens fast serve dc dot k from 360 leader it's time to talk about the best tips to fix purchase saving not working on iphone ipad and mac with the purchase saving feature enabled you can share your purchases with your family members while this neat family saving feature works as expected for many some iDevice users have reported that they can't find families shared content on their device. If the issue has haunted you as well, check out these viable tips to fix the problem. That said, let's jump right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, ensure that your devices meet the system requirements. Note that purchase saving feature supports iOS 8 or later or OS X Yosemite or later. Then you should know the sort of content that you can share with your family. If you are not sure what type of content you can share, have a look at the sort of content that you are allowed to share with your family members. Apps from the App Store, Music, Movies and TV shows from the iTunes Store or Apple TV app, Books from the Bookstore in Apple Books. Then subscriptions from Apple including Apple One Family and Premier Plans, Apple Music Family Subscription, Apple Arcade, Apple Fitness Plus, Apple News Plus, Apple Podcasts Subscriptions, Apple TV Plus, Apple TV Channel, iCloud Plus. Know that you can also share subscriptions and in-app purchases from participating apps as well. Next up, I would like to talk about the sort of purchases that you are not allowed to share with your family members. Know that you can't share individual subscriptions to Apple Music and Apple One. And you are not allowed to share subscriptions and in-app purchases from non-participating apps. Apple doesn't allow sharing student subscriptions like the subscription to Apple Music. And you can't share consumable in-app purchases like coins or gems with your family. Then you can't sell items that no longer exist in the Apple Store, iTunes Store, Bookstore, or Apple TV app. Keep in mind that hidden purchases can't be shared with family. Do know that some apps from the Apple Store can't be shared. The content that has been assigned through a child's school can't be shared either. Then I would suggest you to make sure that the app is shareable. Keep in mind that not all apps are shareable, so ensure that the app you want to share is compatible with family sharing. To do so, open the App Store on your iPhone or iPad or Mac, then find the app in question. After that, scroll down to the support section and then ensure that family sharing is listed. Note that if an app is not designed for purchase sharing, your family members won't be able to see or download it. Then I would suggest you to ensure that the purchased app is not hidden. Another important thing that you should do beforehand is to make sure that the purchased app has not been hidden. Yeah, you read that right. If an app has been hidden, it will not show in the purchase saving. Up next, I will suggest you to ensure that purchase saving is enabled on your iDevices. While it may sound funny to many, make sure that purchase saving is active on your iDevices. Besides, you should also ensure that you are using the same Apple ID for family saving and media purchases. On your iPhone or iPad, head over to the settings app and then tap on family. Then tap on your name. Now check out which Apple ID is listed. Then tap on Purchases. After that, tap on Apple ID for Purchases and then ensure that you are signed in with the same Apple ID that you use for family sharing. If you are not signed in with the same Apple ID, tap on Share using a secondary Apple ID and then enter the Apple ID and password for that Apple ID. And on your Mac, go to the Apple menu located at the upper left corner of the screen and choose System Settings in the drop-down menu. After that, click on Family that appears right below your profile. Then choose Purchases. Under Apple ID for Purchases, find out which Apple ID is listed. Then open the App Store and then choose Store. Then head over to the Account section. After that, click on Account Settings and then ensure that you are using the same Apple ID that you use for family sharing. Next up, I would suggest you to sign out of Media and Purchases. 
Be sure you sign in to all Apple services with the same Apple ID that you use for sharing content with your family. It's worth pointing out that there is no need to sign out of any other services that use your Apple ID like iCloud or iMessage on your iPhone or iPad. Go to the Settings app, then tap on your name. Now choose Media and Purchases, then hit Sign Out. Now tap on Media and Purchases again. Then tap on Not Your Name. After that, sign in with the Apple ID you use for family sharing. And on your Mac, launch the App Store. In the menu bar, choose Store. And then hit Sign Out. In the menu bar, select Store. And then hit Sign In. Then make sure to sign in with the same Apple ID you use for family sharing. Then I will suggest you to update your iDevice. If purchase sharing is still not working on your iDevice, the issue might be due to a software bug. But whether or not the software update may get rid of the problem on your iPhone or iPad, open the Settings app, then tap on General. After that, tap on Software Update and then download and install the latest version of iOS or iPadOS as usual. And on your Mac, Click on the Apple menu located at the upper left corner of the screen and choose System Settings. Then click on General. After that, click on Software Update. Then download and install the latest version of macOS and you are good to go. That's pretty much it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix purchase sharing not working on iPhone, iPad and Mac. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem and purchase sharing has begun to work as expected all over again. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye bye.